Hey everybody, it's me, Sung One, and today we're going to be opening up another Boxu. Thank you, Boxu, for sending this. If you want your own Boxu, use the link below and coupon code PROZD10 to get uh, $10 off any classic Boxu subscription, or PROZD5 to get $5 off any tasting Boxu subscription. And if you do so, it helps support me, so thank you if you choose to do so. Alright, let's see what we got. This theme is All Stars, so it looks like it's some of the most popular snacks they've done. Uh, let's see, what's our tea this time? Uh, Hoshu tea. Yeah, uh, Kagoshiba Prefecture is known for having the best green tea. Okay, let's try it out. Alright, let's try this tea out. Almost like a savory tea. Yeah, it's like bitter and savory and like... Man, it's good. But pretty intense. Alright, here's some olive oil, salt sembe, herb, and vinegar flavor. Mmm, okay. I really like this. It has a nice, like, kind of, like, sweet, sour, tangy vibe. Uh, the vinegar is actually not that overwhelming, so it's got a nice tang with a nice... You can really taste that olive oil herb blend on top of it. And a nice crunch, too. Here's some, um, Okinawa soba. Um, savory deep-fried soba noodles with Okinawan red pepper. Okay. These nice little crunchy noodles. They're crispy. They definitely have that fried flavor. Um... Red pepper is pretty faint, though. Uh, I kind of wish there was more to it than this. Otherwise, it's just kind of like little fried noodles. Fried crispy noodles. Not bad. Here's a fruit pound cake. This one has dried raisins, oranges, cranberries, and figs. Very moist. Very soft and moist. Um, very great fruit flavor in here. You can taste, like, the orange and the chew of it. Like banana bread taken to the next level. Um, yeah. Lots of, like, a citrusy, raisiny sort of mix of fruit flavor. Uh, it's very strong. Here's Hokkaido White Raspberry. Um, this is um, a rye cookie with a layer of white chocolate and crushed raspberries. Very, very pretty uh, look to it. The inside has a very um, sort of earthy, nutty, grainy rye. Very light and crisp, but it has that very intense grainy flavor inside. The outside is nice and kind of like a nice frosting. And the crushed raspberry almost feels like a very tangy like a sprinkle or something. Um, they're so like powdery and fine. Um, so it's a nice contrast between that really intense graininess of the rye, rye um, cookie and the creaminess of the white chocolate. Here's some matcha plus white chocolate uh, covered azuki beans. They're little beans. Very nice and chewy. Has a great creamy uh, green tea exterior that uh, mixes well with the white chocolate. It's nice and sweet. Inside is nice and chewy. And it has kind of like a red bean sort of flavor. Sweet but not too sweet. Uh, to together, it's the perfect little burst of sweetness in each little bean. Here's some edamame senbei. Um, senbei with uh, uh, green soybeans and peppered with kinako. Oh, I like kinako. Ooh, and real edamame bits. Got a nice green powder. If you've never had kinako, it's like a ro roasted soybean powder. And what it does is it gives stuff a really nice nutty sweetness. It, it's really tasty when you coat it over like a crunchy, like cookie or cracker or something like that. Um, it gives it almost like a like a peanutty, nutty um, exterior. And honestly, that's the star of the show here, because if you told me this had edamame in it, I probably would not have noticed. Here's some Okinawa uh, Chinsuko brown sugar, uh, a traditional cookie. Um, it's shortbread, and it has a uh, special brown sugar called Kokuto for these little guys. Very nice, very sweet. Like all, it's just brown sugar really condensed into this really crumbly little cookie. It just melts in your mouth into a very, very granular brown sugary treat. Here's some Kinako Mochi. Um, yeah, again, I'm a fan of Kinako powder. These puffs. They're really light and airy, like almost nothing inside. They just are like, they almost melt in your mouth immediately and are dusted in that nutty, delicious Kinako powder. So it's sweet and nutty and then just sort of dissolves. Here's some takoyaki corn puffs. Um, yeah, they're supposed to taste like takoyaki, which are um, fried octopus balls with um, a special sauce. Nice light and crisp little puffs have that nice sort of um, Worcestershire teriyaki-ish sort of um, takoyaki sauce on the outside, so it's sweet and tangy. It tastes a lot like the sauce, and the sauce with takoyaki is really good. And finally, here's sweet potato lang de chat. Uh, it's a French for cat's tongue. And it's a uh, buttery delight with white chocolate and sweet potato. Now, as you may know, I'm not a big sweet potato guy, but uh, I do like these sandwich crack sandwich cookies a lot. These cookies are very rich. As you can see, that cream is almost like a flat, 
not disc, but a flat, just a um, square of just cream. So the white chocolate is really prevent, prevalent <laughs> uh, in the cookie. And it goes well with the sweet potato. It actually makes it so that it doesn't just taste like sweet potato. It has a nice creaminess to it. Um, and the cookie itself is very buttery and crumbly. So it's a nice rich cream with it. All right, that was Baksu. A lot of those I had had before, but it was nice revisiting some of those very tasty snacks. Um, so I enjoyed this box quite a bit. Um, if you want, you can get your own box, uh, Baksu, using the link below and the coupon code. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.